Technology and data are increasingly a part of our daily lives, continuing to change how we live, work and play. We only have to imagine how hard it would be to live without a device or an internet connection to see how these changes are impacting us. Since 2018, the City of Melbourne has been proactively working with telecommunications carriers, hardware and software companies, local businesses, startups, academics and community members to ensure Melbourne will benefit from digital disruption. One component of digital disruption has been an increase in technology use and data collection. This is often really exciting, but we also need to ensure that each project leads to a clear community benefit. The law requires us to notify you when collecting personal information, but it doesn't say much about other types of data that we collect. In response to this and other digital disruption trends, we have started Australia's first local government-led emerging technology testbed function. Really, this is a complicated way of saying that the City of Melbourne has worked out a way to collaborate with different companies and everyday citizens to test and learn about emerging technology and data and how it might contribute to a better city in the future. We focus on three things through our testbed function. Continuing to develop new ways to work with the community on how we use tech and data. Running citywide challenges to explore how we can solve city problems and increasing our transparency and accountability of tech use and data capture. We are piloting sensory technology in Argyle Square. Sensors placed in this park detect, collect and communicate data about microclimates, pedestrian activity, rubbish bin levels, air quality, bench use and more. We do not collect any personal information about you. We communicate this data through dashboards and a digital twin. Through this project, we're building a deeper understanding of how humans and animals use park spaces now and how parks might better serve them in the future. This initiative is a partnership with Amazon Web Services, Citywide, Pecklet Technology, Foria, Meshed, Smart City Solutions and the University of Melbourne. The digital twin is a great way to visually communicate what's happening in the park. It allows us to communicate transparently about the technology being used, what data is being collected and why. This way everybody has an opportunity to see what we're doing and provide their feedback. We are using seven different types of sensors in the Argyle Square pilot and collecting a lot of data. Let's go through some of our sensors now and learn about their features. Bin sensors. We've installed a sensor in all the bins that service Argyle Square to detect usage rates. Our bin sensors are trying to answer a number of questions. Is the number of bins in Argyle Square meeting the waste needs of the people who use the park? Are the bins being emptied frequently enough to ensure a good park experience? And can we optimise rubbish collection to reduce the frequency of trucks on the road? We will use the information collected to make decisions about adding or removing bins from Argyle Square and potentially deploying them to areas that have a greater need for them. Now our stage sensors. We installed three motion sensors on the roof of the stage in Argyle Square. They capture if and when anyone uses the stage and for how long. This data will help us to understand community use of the structure. The data is useful when combined with other people movement and asset usage data in Argyle Square over time. This data may inform future event and planning decisions as we work towards creating a better park experience for all of Melbourne. Bench sensors. We installed two tilt sensors, one on a metal bench and one on a wooden bench. We're testing them to understand if they work on City of Melbourne benches. If they do, we may explore installing them more widely across Argyle Square. For example, if we removed a bench, we would then be able to redeploy this somewhere else in the city for cost saving. Pedestrian counter. We installed one pedestrian counter in the park. We're collecting data here by counting the number of mobile devices with a Bluetooth signal we use this as an estimate for the number of people in the park at any one time. The sensor de-identifies each Bluetooth signal and randomizes it, so it's not able to be attributed to any one person. Because we collect this type of data, we can also use it to understand dwell time. This is helpful, as it can determine the most popular parts of the park and how long people spend at them. Depending on what we find, we may use this data to create a better park experience at Algar Square and use it to plan other parks. Microclimate Sensor We installed the microclimate sensors in four locations across the park. Three out of the four locations are measuring the microclimates created by different tree species.
This data will help us to understand temperature variation within each microclimate. This data is useful for historical trend analysis and may be used as an input to help Melbourne fight climate change. Weather station and air quality sensor. We installed one weather station in the park and one air quality sensor. We compare our weather data to the Bureau of Meteorology's data and our air quality data to that of the Environmental Protection Agencies. We already know that a large urban area can affect temperatures, rainfall, air pressure, wind and air quality. This means big cities like Melbourne can increase the frequency of fog, the intensity of storms, the concentration of polluted air and how long that air remains in the city. This data will also be useful in Melbourne's fight against climate change. So where does this data go and who uses it? The data is sent to City of Melbourne's secure internal platforms via Amazon Web Services Data Lake. The City of Melbourne transforms this data into readable information using two platforms. The City of Melbourne's Argyle Square pilot platform built by Pecklet Technologies and the City of Melbourne's Argyle Square pilot digital twin built by Foria. This might be where you're viewing the video right now. Thanks so much for coming on this tour of Argyle Square. If you want more information, you can email smartcities at melbourne.vic.gov.au or phone 03 96 58 Happy touring the digital twin.